Hi everyone. Today I'm doing a abstract landscape um, watercolor. I'm using 140 pound watercolor paper. Here I'm adding watercolor paint out of the tube, Windsor Newton um, Ultramarine on my paper with a palette knife. And I'm doing this on dry watercolor paper. And then I take some clear water and load my brush uh, full of water and drag it across the top, drag it across the bottom, just barely touching the, um, the paint with the corner of the brush. <clears throat> I do uh, the top and the bottom and then that bottom little piece and I spread, um, add more water to the paintbrush and then I spread it out to the top of the, the, uh, the edge of the paper. And I do the same for the bottom. What I'm using here is called Brush O Paint Crystals by Colorcraft. I'm using olive green and yellow ochre. What this is, is um, <clears throat> a water based. Uh, watercolor ink crystals comes in a powdered form in these little containers and what I do is after I, I just am um, sprinkling a tiny little bit over top of my uh, painting in just different spots where I want it, want that color to, to be and um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take a little pipette and I'm going to add some water some clean water in it and I'm just going to squirt over top of the uh, the powder and you'll see what happens. I'll add a link there um, for uh, it describes different uses for this. Here I'm going to um, get a little bit of water and I'm going to just um, spritz over top of the uh, powder and it kind of explodes. Um. It just kind of does its own thing. It doesn't, um, you can't really control it. So you just have to uh, see what you get. And if you like it, that's fine. And here I'm just adding a little bit of water with my brush just to, um, just where I want it to to go. I'm going to try and um, direct it in the spot that I want it. So I'm doing that right now, spreading out the top a little bit. Okay, so that's basically it for this one. I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to embellish it later on once it's dry with um, a few a few trees and grasses
I will be listing all the ingredients and all the equipment that I use in my description below my video. I added some ochre color uh, for the grasses on top of the uh, darker black that I used. Here I'm adding some trees with some black and the brush I'm using is a number one rigger brush. And I use, I'm going to use a um, one inch, no, sorry, I'm going to use a rake brush, 1293 num the number is, for the grasses around, around the trees. Well, on the bottom and then beside the tree. Here I'm using a white jelly roll pen to add some highlights to the trees to make them stand out a little bit more. 